What's up guys, it's Sean Mayo, and I just wanted to show you a quick little uh, trick we use for finding wholesale sources using tactical arbitrage. So we're in the wholesale search. Um, you just select wholesale search and then wholesale search again. Uh, and uh, what we're doing is strictly looking for uh, products and brands that we can set up wholesale accounts with. So I'm not too concerned with pricing or um, you know, a lot of that kind of stuff. So uh, what I'm using here is my, uh, we put out a list of the top 100,000 products uh, in toys that's updated every day. Um, and it's only 19 bucks. But what I'm, uh, what I'm doing today is using that list. So the first part of that list, we upload uh, into the wholesale search uh, to get uh, the top 25,000 products in the category today. And uh, so I have just selected a source. The sources really don't matter. It's just going to show you the, this will be the store name that it shows you in your results. So you can enter anything you want in here. Uh, and we're going to be ignoring the prices. Uh, what I've basically done is taken, um, our list and I've added, uh, 0 0.01, one cent for the price, uh, because the prices don't matter. We're just looking, uh, to find some new sources. Uh, so, um, I entered that, I uploaded my file, and I uh, started a search. And I'm going to show you the filters. I'm using very few filters here. Um, and uh, all that we've turned on is uh, I want to see current ranks uh, under 100,000. Uh, and we also want to see the out-of-stock results. And I'm not looking for more sources because I'm only looking to find products that are going to meet my specific criteria. And in this case, uh, I've also removed if Amazon's a seller and in stock, because if they're selling it, obviously they're buying it wholesale and they can probably buy it a lot cheaper than I can. Uh, but you may also be able to find, by turning this off, you may be able to find other uh, products from that same brand. So you may not want to do that. Um, and, and that's it. As you can see, we only have three filters applied. Uh, super simple. And then uh, we run the scan. Uh, and as you can see, out of about 2,000 products so far, I just started this a little bit ago, uh, so there's not a whole lot that's been run. Um, it has added 657. Uh, so everything that ex that's excluded, and I'll show you the logs, um, it's skipping products that Amazon is a seller and currently in stock. Uh, obviously, there's going to be very few that are over 100,000 because, um, you know, as of this morning, uh, when I, when we created this file, it, um, was everything, uh, this is the first file. So it's the top 25,000 in the category. So, um, it would be super hard for something to hit, have already hit a hundred thousand. Um, well, it's also skipping our brand filters. Uh, I have a ton of brand filters that, um, you know, we may not be risk, um, we may not be available to sell or, uh, you know, other people may not. So we skip those because, uh, you know, we share a lot of our leads as well. So, um, so that's basically what's being skipped. Um, and then when we go over and look at our results, um, what I've done here is I have, um, I go in here and then I sort it by brand. So it has all the same brands together. Obviously you see these that don't have a brand. That's because, uh, you know, when a seller, uh, originally creates a listing, they probably didn't create, put a brand name in there, but, um, you know, there are tons of them that do, um, as you can see out of, um, I believe it's, uh, you know, almost 700 products. Uh, I believe it's somewhere in the 10% range, uh, you know, 53%, which is way less than 10%, uh, has, um, has no brand name. So we're not talking about a huge amount and you can see, um, you know, lots of things that are in the same, uh, have the same brands, three beef and me, uh, Activision, obviously maybe a little bit harder, but we can see, uh, you know, a lot of stuff that, uh, is going in the same, uh, it's going in, uh, you know, the same brand. So you can set up with a certain brand and then you're going to be able to, uh, set up an account with them and then you'll be able to sell everything they carry. All right. So I've seen this one that's pretty interesting. Uh, the standard Clifford, uh, uh, sorry, standing Clifford, uh, from Douglas Cuddle Toys. I know, 
they have quite a few different products on Amazon. Uh, so what I did was I went ahead and loaded uh, the page up on Amazon. And we can see that um, eShop Company is the one with the buy box, which means that uh, the, the manufacturer is probably not the one creating, um, uh, selling them on Amazon, uh, which is good. Uh, but when we scroll down, uh, see it's a single detail page, um, which if you haven't encountered those before, uh, single detail uh, page miscellaneous, that means that it has no main category. Uh, so it's kind of put into this miscellaneous category, so it has no main category. So we can see all these ranks are subcategories, but if we scroll down a little bit further, we can see there is a lot of reviews. 130 reviews, uh, you know, equals at least thousands of uh, purchases, you know. Uh, for the most part, you know, maybe 1 or 2% um, reviews is a high number. So we're talking about thousands, thousands of sales here. Uh, it also has 4.7 out of 5 stars, which is a great review uh, rating. Uh, so this is a great uh, product if we'd be able to wholesale it. Uh, and then... Um, if we click on Douglas Cuddle Toys for the brand, we can see that there's over a thousand different products uh, on Amazon already just from them. Uh, and we can see a lot of them have a ton of reviews. You know, um, most of them, uh, you know, there's a few that only have a handful, but a lot of them have near a hundred or some of them have 200 or more. So, you know, we're talking about a lot of good selling products. Uh, so all I did was I went ahead and uh, searched for Douglas Cuddle Toys. And if there's any product that you want to sell, um, this is all you have to do. Um, it's kind of called reverse wholesale uh, searching or sourcing. And you can, uh, you know, just Google the store go or, or the manufacturer, go to their website, get their contact information, and... Uh, set up an account or talk, call them on the phone. So if we search for Douglas Cuddle Toys, uh, we're going to get their information here. So we see their website here. Uh, the second one down, the top one's just an ad. Um, and we can see that they've been in business for 60 years, since 1956. Uh, so if we go to their website here, we can uh, just scroll down all the way to the bottom. And we can see they have contact information and their hours, so we can call them at any time. But uh, more importantly, I see the section that says for retailers. So if we go to that page, um, there's a whole welcome for retailers. Um, we can see that you can call... Uh, the 800 number if you already have an account um, or it says to um, look at the link below to set up a, re uh, a reseller account so um, here is the part where um, I mean they've made this so easy compared to a lot sometimes you got to call or email or you know send them information but they have it set up so you can do it right online super easy um, which is probably why there's a thousand different items on Amazon from their company uh, but uh, basically, to be a part of the Douglas team, just complete and forward the following information. So you download the PT PDF of their um, their retailer application form, uh, credit application, credit card authorization, um, their map policy, uh, they have a state of Indiana tax exempt form, they want your state reseller certificate, and a minimum order of 150 bucks. all standard stuff, um, and then... Uh, you can just fill out the forms and email it to them, or you can print and fax it to them, and they were also at the New York Toy Fair. So uh, they make it super easy. Just fill out the forms, get it to them, and you'll be good to go. Now, I don't know all the rules about, you know, this company, but the company doesn't matter. It's, it's all about, you know, using the process to find wholesalers. And then you have products. You don't have to create listings. You don't have to do anything. Now you have a wholesaler that... They're the manufacturer, but they're also the wholesaler of their own products that is going to be able to uh, put your products right on Amazon on listings that are already going. So you don't have to build up listings. You don't have to worry about any of that. Um, but uh, it's a super easy way, and I'm sure there's 
probably hundreds of different brands that I could do the exact same thing with just from running one, um, you know, one simple scan uh, using this feature. Now, there is some stuff that's not going to be useful, you know, like the price um, and all that. And when I'm looking at the products, I'm also going to look at the gross profit here. So the gross profit is going to be um, this is what you're gonna this isn't your actual profit because we don't know how much it is to buy from this company but we know that the gross profit number is actually what we're getting after fees see it's always going to be one cent off because we entered one cent in there uh, so you know if you think that it's something you could buy and then resell uh, on Amazon and you know this is going to be your profit plus whatever you have to pay and get the stuff to you. So if that's something you'd be interested in, then um, go and set up an account with them. You know, if it's 75 cents for 12 packs, of, this is crayons, but, you know, 12 packs of whatever it is, then there's probably not enough meat in, in that product that you're going to want to move on to something else. So um, all the information is here. There's tons of good data that you can pull just to find wholesalers so if you're in that spot where you can't find uh you know a good distributor and you want to get into wholesale uh, this is a great way to use tactical arbitrage and uh you know if you want to get that list it's only 19 dollars a month and you're basically going to get 20 updates you know so 80 files so you're gonna get four files with 25,000 lines in each one uh and then uh, you'll get four of those files and they're updated daily. So Monday through Friday, basically 20 times a month, possibly a little more, uh, depending on the size of the months. Um, you know, so, I mean, we're talking, you know, very, very cheap. Uh, we try to price this as economically as possible so as many people can take advantage of it. And not only use it for this, you can also use it in the reverse search, and that's not really what we're talking about today, but you can use it in the reverse search and find actual retail stores that um, that have these products as well. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, you can click the card button, or if you're watching on Facebook, uh, the link to get it will be in the description below. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time.